Yo. Two and a bang, girl, me know. Maka my yabala. Well done. <laughs> A day in the life documentary team met up with Ghana's favorite rapper Makasio. Bintu and Swale, who are huge fans of Sharif Abdul Majid, had the opportunity to sit with the rapper and talk about education and music. Nah, no. Hello, Okay. Swale Sami. Okay. Abdul Aziz been to. Okay. Okay. You know the problem. Okay. Is that say you have been playing with Oko? Ah. Okay. Now to put calm down the the bang and the tension and the aggression. We will not bring the swallows. Ah. Okay. We will share it. Mamma, <laughs> Like anti GSS, SS, be anti share and bang, come out there, like, and don't you could tell more. The I don't know, I don't understand the check of Kabishiku, Nazis, I shall understand it. But to my comes as a malad, the pigration, and pigle like, ah, let the papa shall it. Come for my time to pana, not pigle you have a year, punk as one can pigle you. Yeah, it may be, maybe in one point, I don't want to hear and bang, come out there, in the Macassu. Maybe it's okay, can I need to bang in the Macassu? Yes. So, ni inkutu zan chongo ni yela ni pili ni ni pili ge yela shambi ni yela shambi bala ni pili ge yela kabi yubi. Ana sana. Eh, kani lukuru ni yela shambi ni ma alem ba ni tu shambi tu ni masoka mbi kani yela yini la yela. Ama sana. Eh, so si 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 si. I'm to an change kuru mo like. Tumbo, tumbo, njia mani, be tumbo kagba mani yani kama anti anti na shukuru, be ana be shukuru puna tumba. Hmm. Wana lebda. Okay, nice man. The 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 kalaj ipsi kati kati lebda ata lebda mbut kati machi ya paro zoba ana sana. Eh, nuno kumashi ni njala kama njala kama de. I mean, look at your share, man. I don't to, I in a bishop point, I don't to understand it. So, cook my ma, ki, 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 Bang makan cincin syukur mak dengan orang, like kerana zaman ada ada tension non syukur mak pun, belum wujud bersih akam kelas mak aku mak mak aku bawa, anda sana, ambil bawa bersih, abang bawa bersih akam bawa, aku mak mak aku bawa tiada mana, abang saya abu fu, bi kawan tu bi nak bawa yul kau, kau tu iyal, mak aku ambil kelas mak aku bawa kau isak aku tu iyal, so tu ni ayi vi asuni, bi aku mak pun isi bi syukur syalan bi mak ambil kelas pun belum bawa kau isak kau non aktif. Agora nós chamamos lá mais a gente chama cá 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 nós não nunca só lá a gente vai chamar para o outro class a nossa né o só não cobrir não para o só em em vez de cobrir bem a gente colhe um pula todo mundo de macaco e lá caminho bem a gente e lá bem fomos pelo uau só I want to make sure you are doing. You didn't. Maybe you didn't send. Ka ka suba pa. Eh, buasim bala mau. Eh, so so ami jila wa vya laga. Vya ami le jila. Ami le jila. So anto yil le vya fito wa ka kanya. Eh, eh, ku anko anu anko yil se pulo. Anko yinu se. Bika jila ka ku bala. Eh. 
Bunun bay, ey ey, milyar lansi, yo akpa ama ama mi ya, di di di, tivi zo ila biya koka chambi ya, yenga biya mbesi ku, avan shaba, so bintu di sami kapi kapu kato gumda, ni sara ni sara ka 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 suba, ni sara ngba favorite, mama mama ngba zasa ni fili yeshe pam bara ma, awu mi ila ma fe yenga wo, ma awu mi ila ma ni ya shamu. Yes, il a dit about the gens qui ont été en train de se faire. Ils 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 ont été en train de se faire. Because I'm a yellow jelly, and you sell it. I'm a woman, I'm a yellow jelly. You sell it, 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 Okay, yeah, okay. Cause all the feet, I be at the pump Everything you want me, girl, if I buy one, you get one free Yaga, yo Yo, ma kama ya bala, anye kan lala Nous sou piel le pump, n'y t'emma opportunity chez le moment Yes, nkou ma la sa sou goudia la nous anti Fan kamza sa, be music lava Be, nisfele kamza sa wong wong de program ou tige sa chez le moment Nan ma ma, tout ma kam ka tout ma ka nan ni mo anan de pou ni Stay away from drugs Shikuru I don't want to shout out to you because it's time to come. It's time to come. It's time to use the lyrics. I'm going to feel my cash. I'm going to use my cash. I'm going to use the lyrics. I'm going to use the lyrics. I'm going to use the lyrics. I'm going to understand it. Yes. So, yes. I'm going to use the lyrics. 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 Stay in school. Stay away from drugs. I'm going to use the lyrics. Yes. Best collaboration. I mean, don't sell them, but I want. Because the overall artists, northern regions are so. People's celebrities award, social media, all the Facebook, mean Instagram, so the 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 best artists that they like. I want some more. So, let me pass it on back. If you want more social media, man, like Facebook, baby, share. Like, if you want to turn the point, baby, share. Because never mind, you have a platform, can they understand it? Quand tu es dans le mal, tu es bien dans le mal à Bukata. Yes, so, je ne peux pas m'imposter sur mon Facebook, car je ne peux pas m'imposter sur mon Facebook. Mais dans ce moment, tu es une ville, tu es une ville, tu es une ville, tu es une ville. So, je ne connais pas. Je vais te dire que tu es ici. 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 Pour les gens, ils ne sont pas en train de faire des choses. Ils ne sont pas en train de faire des choses. Ils ne sont pas en train de faire des choses. Ils ne sont pas en train de faire des choses. Oyel, oyel te, ne te chame chokoro, venga, avant la vie. So ne te chame chokoro, venga, ande ya chama, ande ba e pam. So ai bo na te bika ni, te stay dem hard. Te chale te ma balbo bi, te chale ni fa ibo la mina wana. Ka chame chokoro venga, dem ka ande ba.
Hardy and Fatima are about to meet and interact with two doctors from the Tamale Teaching Hospital for the first time. So my name is Enyonam. I'm a medical doctor. My name is Hadi. Good afternoon. My name is Fatima. So how do you become a doctor? Well, uh, how should I even say it? I think that the one way to become anything, and not necessarily a doctor, is to be determined that you can be anything you become. You know I asked you what you wanted to become? Just so that the first thing is to know this is what I want to become. Then every morning when you wake up, you look at yourself. My name is Fatima. I want to become a doctor. My name is Hardy. I want to become a soldier. Now once that registers in your mind, continually, you will self-motivate yourself to become what you want to become. You are reminded. And so every action you take leads you towards achieving your goal of becoming a soldier or a doctor. And for us as young children, what actions can we do? One is to study hard. As we are in school, our aim is to study, 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 study. Because if you become a doctor, you need to pass BC. Then you go to senior high school, you need to pass WASI. You go to medical school, you need to pass exam. So apart from being determined, the second most important thing we can do to become either a doctor or a soldier is to study hard. Number three is to study hard. Number four is to study hard. Number five, study hard. Number six, study hard. Seven, eight, nine, ten, study hard. So now once you are determined and you study hard, you become a doctor or a soldier. Shukur ka ancheng, until a doctor, be ben shana bzen, ka en nangale. Kama te training chiche so. So in basic school, you do almost every subject everyone does. The difference is after you have gone to senior high school. So in senior high school, if you want to become a doctor, you choose to learn science. Okay, so uh, when you are going to senior high school, you do science. Then when you go to the university, you now go to medical school to study medicine. So when I say studying or when I say school, I don't mean only the written part or only what is taught in classroom. Our work is mostly practical. And then there's a lot to it that you learn, like how someone goes to an, as an apprentice to learn under a master. So even after you have finished school, you have senior doctors that when you finish school as a junior doctor, you come and understudy them. So just like how a seamstress will have apprentices, junior doctors are apprentices to senior doctors. So yes, even though we do a lot of books and schoolwork, our work is also largely practical. How are you? I'm fine. Great. Uh, what's your name? My name is Hadi. Hadi. My name is Fatima. Fatima. Okay, so my name is Paul Wonder. Okay, I'm a medical doctor working in a Tamale teaching hospital. I do want to go like a digester. So, okay, so you have food in front of you. You pick it and you put it in your mouth. Once the food enters into your mouth, that is the first stage where digestion begins. You know because God has given us teeth, you know what I'm and then saliva. So you begin to bite on the what? On the food, you begin to break it down into smaller pieces. So maybe it was a big yam you put in your mouth, but once you are chewing on it, it's becoming smaller. And then you have saliva also working on it. You know what I'm now, Saliva contains what we call amylase, salivary amylase. It's an enzyme. It is something like a chemical that helps to digest, digest carbohydrates. You know what I'm saying? It is not, I mean, you can do without it, but it is available. So digestion of carbohydrates starts from there. In other sense, but then the long and short is that the food is broken down into smaller pieces so that you can swallow it. When you swallow it and it gets into your stomach, you know what I'm uh, digestion continues. There are a number of enzymes, there are a number of chemicals in your stomach, that also help to break down the food into smaller pieces, to break down protein, to break down carbohydrates and fats and oil uh, into smaller pieces. Then from there, it moves from your stomach into your small intestines. The small intestines is divided into parts. Part of it takes part in what? In digestion. 
and the other part now absorbs the nutrients. You understand? Because the, the reason why you eat is to be able to use the food you are eating. You understand? So it is not only digestion, but it is digestion and absorption. Okay? Absorption is the body has to extract the nutrients you understand, into the system. So digestion breaks it down, then your body would absorb it. So what is now left, you understand, which is not absorbed, you understand, now passes out you know, through the large intestines, you know, through uh, where you go to the toilet from, you know, and it comes out as toilet. Do you understand? Yes. The end of the day, comes on a shift in a cold drawers, I had to buy. Nobody can go to the door. Okay, so, Hadi, one day if your wife comes, we will not let her run around. So, when a woman comes in labor, and for whatever reason, she's unable to deliver by herself. We call it, uh, if she's able to deliver by herself, we call it a spontaneous vaginal delivery. So, if a woman cannot deliver vaginally, the next step is to do operation for her. And that operation is called a caesarean section. So nobody runs around so that the baby will come out. <laughs> God has put something in every woman, like a box. Hmm? It's called the womb. So when a woman is pregnant, the baby is sleeping in that box for nine months. And at the end of the nine months, the baby will come out of the box. So every girl, once you are born and you are female, you have that box called the womb. So at a certain age in your life, for some people from 12 years onwards, for some people from 13 years onwards, the age we say that you are an adolescent. For women, we begin to experience something called menstruation. And in this box, there's something like a carpet, okay? And it is on that carpet that when you get pregnant, the baby will come and lie. So if in a month, no baby comes to lie inside, you don't get pregnant, then that carpet will remove and come out as blood and that is menstruation. So every month, the box, you know, God has made your body such that the box will prepare itself and carpet will come and line inside. So if you don't get pregnant, the carpet will remove. Then the next month, another carpet will form inside the box. If you don't get pregnant, it will remove. But if you get pregnant, then the baby will come and lie on that carpet. So in those months that you are not pregnant, that shedding or removing of the carpet it comes out as blood, and that's menstruation. And for a normal woman, our cycle may range between 21 days to 35 days. So almost every month you get it, unless you are pregnant. And it will come as blood. And for a lot of females, it comes with a certain amount of pain, which is bearable. But if for any reason the pain is too much that you cannot bear, you need to come to a hospital because there may be an underlying condition which a doctor must attend to. When two of them are full, then the connection of man is busy. The bank is on the man. The bank is in trouble. Now, 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 come on, we need more than bank. Okay, so uh, currently the doctor-patient ratio is not adequate. Yeah. So most of the time. Um, we are a lot understaffed. You, know, so you have a lot of patients coming in, but the doctors are very few. You know. So even inside this hospital, we've had new buildings that have been added, you know, but it's still not adequate because the number of patients in northern region alone is very high. And that is why we want you to study very hard you know, and then join us in this profession. That is why you have to become a medical doctor. Like Once you have purpose in your heart to become a medical doctor, you should persevere. You know, to reach that, that extent. But however, uh, when patients are brought in, uh, we do our best you know, as doctors. Uh, no doctor would go through training you know, after six, seven years of, of medical training and come and be lazy about you no. Know, you know, we push the best we can um, with the resources that are available. Um, we have not yet reached where the world has reached in terms of resources, but we are, we are getting there gradually. So we make do with the scarce resources we have, and then we push the boundaries. Uh, but then when patients are rushed in, first of all, as an emergency, they have to go through the emergency department, where there are nurses who help. You know, they triage the patients, as in they group them, 
and tell us which of them is more severe so that we can attend to those people. So maybe 10 people might come and then somebody even came earlier than uh, another person, but the person's condition, the one that came later, the condition is more severe. We have to attend to that person first. And once we are attending to that person, the other one will feel like nobody cares. But it's not because we don't care. It's just because there's a system, there's a triaging system, a system that tells us that this person needs more attention. This person needs to be attended faster than the other person. So that is what we use. But um, doctors in this region, we are pushing and doing the best that we can. And we need more people to come and join us. Yeah. I wish you all the best. Study hard. And uh, I pray that you achieve your dreams. For Fatima, I hope that one day you become my colleague, doctor. And then for Hadi, I hope that one day you come in your uniform as a soldier and I'll be delivering your pregnant wife and she will not have to run around. All the best. Two giant banks operating in Ghana with branches across the regions will open their doors and welcome Caleb Dute and Mardia too. Yes, so this is the customer service desk. This is where the banking relationship begins. When customers come in, they want to open an account with us. So this is where they come to, to get an account open with the bank. Okay. And so once you open an account, the next thing will be for you to put money in and start doing transactions. And so once the account is open at the customer service desk, you now have the teller font, the tellers where you go and then make a deposit. So let's go and see the tellers. So you see that we have we have about five teller cages. Okay. And you see a gentleman sitting in here, you see a lady in the other one, another gentleman over there. We call them tellers. At other banks, they are called cashiers. They receive deposits from customers and they pay out withdrawals when customers want money. You remember I told you we are financial intermediaries and that we receive customers' deposits and give them out as loans, but we must make sure we can collect the loans back and give them back to their owners, right? So this is where all that happens. Okay, and then we have another room where I will not show you. We call that place our operations room. So much goes on in there, but that is out of the public view. Okay, where all kinds of entries are passed. If you want to send money to someone in China, for example, that is where such entries are passed. All right, if you want to buy goods online, it is in there that they facilitate all those processes. We call that room our operations room. But there's another place I'll show you. So let's go. As you can see there, what does it say? Market. Market, beautiful, come in. Because of competition now, unlike in the past where we used to sit in our offices for customers to come to us, now we have to go out and market for business. Because there are so many other banks who are also pursuing the same business and they work together as a team. It's all about teamwork, okay? You have to work together as a team. You don't have one person trying to be the star ahead of everybody, no. You work together so that together you achieve. You understand? Yeah. So teamwork is very important to what we do. Very, very important. If, if you looked at the building before you came in, you see that it looks like our, our branch building. Yes, this was a student's work, very beautiful work. When we expand and we grow bigger than we are now, and we need more people like you. When we employ you, we get you an office up here. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Gertrude. What's yours? I'm in the person of Isamal Jetin. It's my name is Kalim Dutz. Okay, Kalim and then of Isa Maridia too. Maridia too. Oh, that's unique, that's nice. <laughs> so why are you here this morning? Actually, we came here to know how things run in here. Okay, same reason, right? Okay, so this is Fidelity Bank. And my name is Gertrude, like I said. I run the northern sector for Fidelity Bank. So I run seven branches and one agency. 
I work more with the branch managers. So I have a branch in Techiman, I have one in Sunyani, I have one in Bekun, I have an agency in Doma. Actually, I have two in Sunyani. And then I have one in Tamale here, and that's why you're here. Then I have one in Boga and one in Wa. So what I do is that normally I coordinate these branches. I work with the branch managers to find out how they can make money for the bank to pay themselves and to pay others as well. Others that work within the bank. That's basically what I do. So we want to know what inspired you to become a banker? Um, well, for banking, when I was growing up actually, I wanted to become a lawyer. And the bank job came in. So I went for an interview aptitude test and you know the procedures. Then I got employed. But when I came into the banking, I found out that that was actually what I wanted to do. In banking, for instance, it doesn't really matter the course you do in school. You can do any course at all. Because when you work in a bank, you're supposed to help businesses. So you're supposed to help lawyers, you're supposed to help doctors, you're supposed to help people in agri And you, to be able to help them well, you need to understand them. Meaning, you need to be what they do or understand what they do to be able to know how to help them. So it doesn't really matter what course you do, because in banking, you end up doing everything. For instance, the law dream I had, I'll still do it because we have lawyers in the bank. So banking is normally the basic or actually the basic line to do. So please, madam, what other subject can you do to become a banker? Those days we used to think that you have to do economics, you have to do maths, you have to do a lot of calculations to do banking. But banking, you are able to learn on the job as well because you need to understand some financial statements and balances to be able to advise people in relation to that. But that doesn't, that's not the basic thing because some of us learned it on the job. I didn't know how to do, I didn't do accounting. But when I started banking, there are a lot of courses that you go for to be able to fit in the role well and to be able to work out people's finances. We have people here who have done a Greek. We have people here who have done economics. We have people here who have done home economics. Any course at all you do can fit you into a bank. You just have to have a good pass. Right now, you are still going up. That's why I want to encourage you to pass and pass well so that you go into banking full time. Marangete inspired me more than Mr. Latif. And the reason is that Marangete said, you don't need to offer only business before or economics before you can become a banker. Because she offered general arts and she did geography, government, and other stuff, but still, she became a banker. So that it's not about the course or the subject, just it's about the determination and what you want to become. If you really want to become a banker, you can even offer a Greek and still you become a banker. So I really want to be like her. Please, what challenges do you face here? Um, well, for challenges, there are many. First of all, um, sometimes you're forced to close late because some of the customers will give you meetings or schedules that are quite late. So as a woman, you know you are normally needed at home because I have three boys, three little boys that are under the ages of seven. So normally that's one challenge. You'd have to try to get home early to settle the family, you understand. But that's one problem. If a customer does not give you the right time, or the customer is busy throughout the day and that's the only time you need to make time for the person. Another challenge is that you'd have to learn how to manage people. You know, we all have different upbringings. People's, what people see to probably be um, okay in one society might not be the same in another. So you need to learn different societies as well. Um, that's a challenge, meaning you have to be patient enough to deal with customers. You need to study wide and understand wide businesses. So you can be able to advise an agriculturist, you can be able to advise a doctor on what to do, you can be able to advise a lawyer, you can be able to even advise a student on what products to take to enhance the person, because that's why you do the banking, to help people grow financially. It's really great to see you too. I'm hoping that in the next like, like seven years, how many years more for you to finish the university? I would come and visit you in your office and you'll be in the banking field. But I wish you all the best in your life. I pray that you'd study really hard to become the bankers that you want to be. I'm available to be your mentor anytime, anywhere. 
so feel free to pass by once a while feel free to take my number and call feel free to ask questions even after here i'll be available to answer or i can also refer you to somebody else who i think can help you out with it so thank you so much for choosing to come here i'm glad to be of help to you as well <laughs>
and that was a problem. So the systems wasn't the opportunities for entrepreneurs were were in that much. So we needed to work ourselves. We needed to do a lot of work, put our own money into programs, push our own money in rent it, push our own money in buying plastic chairs. We started with four plastic chairs here and five plastic tables. With no computers, we moved to people and say, hey, we want you to borrow us just a desktop to start and we pay you back and everyone say, oh, we can't give you and all that. So these were some of the challenges. Resources, human resource, um, technological support systems, direction is also very important. If I feel like I've been in this, this thing for five years. If I had had this kind of space the last five years when I was starting, I think I would have gotten my idea move faster than this. But all the same is good because we have learned a lot and we have. So these are some of the challenges we face. So thank you guys. It's really nice um, speaking to you guys. I hope you guys go back to school. You'll be good students. But don't be too perfect students. You understand? You need to um, be yourself. You need to respect the teacher, of course. But you, you need to be creative. You don't need to go at the way everybody is going. You need to explore things. You need to, when your mind comes up, something. You need to try it out. Remember, trying it out means that you need to try the things that are ethical. Not that thing, if I say ethical things, you shouldn't go into things that will hurt your brother, destroy another human being, destroy the environment, no. Or destroy yourself, no. When the idea is something that will make an impact to your society, to the people who need it, you should go in for it. If you think your family, nobody believes you, look around, talk to somebody you believe in, pass by hop and talk to somebody you believe in here, and get inspired. And always remember that Surround you surround yourself with good friends, friends who lead you in the good direction. That is very important because if you growing up as young people and you don't meet the right circle of friends, it's hundred percent of chances that you also go that way. You understand? Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Yamusa Sadiq, and I'm from Nani Prez Regional School, Block E. Okay. When I'm Chris, we just came here to know about this place, to know about you and how you run this place. Oh, okay. You're welcome then. Mm. My name is Rukaya Rodeliman. I am the founder of this farm. The name of the farm is Jamilu Life Farm Enterprise. We started in 2013. December 2013, so we're almost in our fifth year. We're hoping to go and become a meat processing company in Northern Ghana, but currently we raise layers. So that means that we're producing table eggs for people to consume. Why I started my business? So one of the key reasons why I started was basically to be able to reach out and create an opportunity for young people like yourselves. You know, there are young people like you who will not be able to continue school because of financial challenges. Yes. So this was exactly the guiding lesson that I used to start my farm. So my hope is that I can help as many young people get employment, get trained to be able to get employed so that they can work and raise money and then go to school. Some of them can even be going to school whilst working with us, so that it helps them to raise the resources that they need to be able to continue school. So far, so good. We have about 500 beds here. So in a day, we make about 60% production. That's almost like 300 eggs a day. Madam, please, what are the challenges this poultry farm have faced so far? Oh, challenges. Hmm. You know that everything that we do in life, we always face challenges. I think I'll just share one of the worst experiences I had. It was in the raining season. And that day, we had a huge downpour. I think that particular rain started with me in it and ended with me in it. 
by the end of the rain, I was completely soaked, very exhausted and miserable. Why? Because all that I did to keep the water out of the poultry um, this, uh, didn't work. The water entered and filled everywhere. So we had to now be catching birds and putting them on top of things, improvising. Uh, it wasn't easy. Then another challenge that we had sometimes, you know, sometimes when you start your business, you would get customers, but it's a gradual process. So I think we had some challenges with customers one time. We had a huge stock of eggs and then we had nobody come in to buy them and unfortunately it rained water went in and soaked the crates and you know the crates are made of paper so once they got intact with the water and then they, they all just crumbled we came and found all the eggs on the floor half were broken and you know the way eggs are some can even be broken and you will not notice it will be a crack on the inside so that particular um, um, harvest that we had, half of what we were able to salvage even affected our markets because we sold them only to realize that they had cracks inside and it caused the eggs to go bad. So most of the customers that were buying for the first time lost um, confidence in the farm. They thought we weren't doing a good job. Madam, and again, how does the business help the society? The society, wow, that's, that's a good one. So like I already mentioned, the reason why we started the business already is how it is touching people. We're able to get young people employed and through that they're able to raise resources to be able to continue school. The other things that we're doing is we have this um, community um, like sustainability program. So what we do is we try to encourage the farmers to reduce less chemicals and use more organic stuff to fertilize their farms. And because of that, all the manure we generate from here, when we collect it, we give it out to the farmers for free. That's one thing that we're doing for the community. Madam, please, and is there any problem facing the beds here? The beds? Okay, so for here, we don't really have too much challenges with the beds. It's just some weather issues. You know, sometimes when it rains, we have to construct the structure with wire mesh because we need the place as well ventilated so that the beds can do well. So sometimes when it rains and there's wind and storm, it sort of affects us a little. But then here, if you can see, before you get to the beds, you have to take a long walk. So it's part of the strategies to reduce people getting into contact. And then we do what we call biosecurity, use chemicals to disinfect the place and other things. So because of that, we don't have too many challenges with the birds. I've learned about how a person can start his or her own business and meeting those two personalities. I would gladly say I would also like to become a poultry farmer like Madame Ruka in the future. A young person can start his or her own business to support his life and to manage his way to continue the dream that person has. I would like to use this opportunity to thank NAFSAC and Action It. A very good thank you for giving me that opportunity. I want to thank NAFSAC and Action It for giving me this opportunity to be part of this program.